about no more than 15 minutes. But here's what he said in those 15 minutes. He said, now, if I come, all the votes that I got in Chicago caused me to win Chicago. He said, but the vote that made me a U.S. Senator was the Dow State vote. That's another way of saying the white vote, the Dow State. He said, I'm not going to do anything to endanger that vote that made me a U.S. Senator. Those last words are mine. He said, I'm not going to do anything to endanger that vote. Now, he's a senator. And I said, brother, your reality is not mine. I said, we need you where you are. So we won't say or do anything that will endanger your reality. Now, if you take that simple statement from my home in Chicago to the way he's operating, the fear of the displeasure of whites that also voted to put him in. I'm speaking now from his mind. He's walking this tightrope. Uh, if I go too far <coughs> over here, I lose this. So I gotta stay right here and let black people know I'm with them, though they're not getting no benefit materially, but I cannot endanger my next vote around for the next four years. Now, this is my paraphrasing based upon what he said to me. So if you watch the way he's gone, I mean, Jeremiah E. Wright is one of the greatest theologians. <laughs> that man does not hate America. He was in condemnation of policies of our government, okay? So he was thrown up under the bus. Even the day that Brother Barak announced, he was in the back room. He was supposed to come out, you know, and say a prayer and introduce Brother. Something happened, so he was in the back. They prayed together. But these are patterns. Politics is a, is a rough thing. That's why I like being spiritual. Because you can say what you want, do what you want, like you. <laughs> so that poor brother could not advance the people in Chicago that really helped him. They all feel disrespected. Mm. They do. So I mentioned to them, I said, well, when you see the shuttle going off, you know, your eyes are on the shuttle, but the bigger thing is the booster. And when it says ignition, lift off, well, that's a beautiful sight. But you gotta know your place. If you're a booster, you're not expected to go into orbit with the shuttle. Mm -hmm. There's a booster. Right? So, but the booster falls back to Earth. Soon the shuttle will too. Mm -hmm. so, so why feel bad? Because you've been dissed. The man is where we put him, and soon he'll be back with us. Mm -hmm. And with credentials, hopefully, that are not so tarnished that he can play a major role in helping us in international trade and commerce and helping to build black people up. But uh, I think my answer to that question is, I would tell him, you know, help us with the downline of what you propose by using your bully pulpit because the racism that's under him is very real. I'll explain why I said that. When the Haitian crisis came up, I was on a telephone call with 
doctors, teachers, lawyers, nurses over the Haitian crisis. And a man that was a Haitian doctor, he was on the call too. And a young lady was driving on the West Coast to the airport because she was going into Santo Domingo uh, to be, uh, go into Haiti and help. And she said she had organized the blacks in medicine. And they overwhelmingly said they wanted to go. She said, he got a call, they got a call from the White House saying, you're not needed. Then the, the Haitian doctor that was on the phone with me, he said, I got that same kind of call. That's not Obama. That's people under Obama right. that have a chance to wreak havoc. They'll do it here, they'll do it there. That man is in a bind. Yes, he is. And he needs us to pray for him yes. because they want to put a black face on war with Iran. Just like they used Colin Powell in the bombing of Panama and getting Noriega out, and in Grenada. See, when they can use a black person to put a black face on something diabolical, yeah. then they can hide behind us, like they hid behind Colin Powell as he was going before the world saying that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. The information that he got was skewed. And Paul Barack, sitting up there, he's not an economist, he's a lawyer. But he had to surround himself by those who know economics. So it's the same Goldman Sachs crowd, Larry Summers, no, they did the stimulus package, showing him how it would help. Well, if these are your advisors, would you take their advice if you don't know economics? And if the information is skewed, to force you in a direction that will give the bank the public money to get the worst criminals that have criminalized and broken the economy of America, England, and the world. They them out while there are 3,967,000 homes that were foreclosed on in 2009. So, you know, I, I, I feel for him because somebody wrote that when he got elected, just like the black people thought that Bill Clinton was their first black president, <laughs> we Jewish people feel that in Barack we got our first Jewish president. <laughs> That's serious.